Does the AMD Ryzen suck as a production system? Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today I wanna to get into a little bit of an update on my Ryzen setup. Now, if you haven't watched my past videos, I just built a Ryzen 1700 build specifically for editing video and editing photos, right? It's an editing rig, basically. Um, but instead of using Intel like I normally do, I went with the AMD Ryzen platform because I heard a lot of good things. Now. I'm gonna get into a little bit of an update on what's going on with it, and I think some of it might help you. But before I do, I want to, number one, apologize for my complete crap audio the last couple of videos. I finally found what the problem was, and it all stems to this connector. You see this? This is an Audio-Technica uh, connector, which basically splits um, headphone to mic, so you can take your lapel mic, for example, and feed it into a iPhone, for example, like what I do, and record that lapel on the iPhone in comparison for me using the H4n, which is bulky. It's just too big. Sometimes just easier to record onto the iPhone. Anyways, this has gone bad. This is going into the trash bin as of now. So that's that. Next, um, I want to make sure that if you guys have not got into the giveaway, that I'm doing as of late, and you're watching this video at either the end of June um, or the beginning of July, I'm giving away this Lens Baby Composer Pro, and um, this is an awesome lens. This is a lot of fun, over 300 and some bucks, but if you have not got into that giveaway as of yet, um, go into the playlist and find uh, giveaways, click on that and you'll see where I have a video in there that tells you how to get involved in it. So don't forget to do that. So let's get into the update. Now, I'm gonna tell you what's been going on and how I went about trying to figure out what's what the story is. Bottom line here is guys, the system is just randomly shutting down whenever the hell it feels like it. Now, when I say that, I mean literally whenever it feels like it. It doesn't matter if it's under load, it doesn't matter if I'm surfing the web. It doesn't matter if I just turn the machine on from it being off. It just simply turns off. And the way it turns off is kind of interesting. What it does is you'll hear a snap like this, right? When the speakers pop, just like if you were turning off your computer, for example. Um, and then what will happen is the fans will still be on. The motherboard lights, the LEDs are still on. Um, my Corsair uh, H110, the water system, my liquid cooler, it's still on. Uh, everything looks like it's still working, but the monitor goes off and the keyboard locks and everything's basically locked. I can't do anything. Now, you can try, for example, holding down the reset button, it does nothing. Or you can hold down, for example, the on-off switch um, and do, let's say, a hard reboot on it, but guess what? That is locked too, it does nothing. The only way to restart this machine is to go in the back, pull the plug out of the power supply, or simply shut the power supply off for 10 seconds, turn it back on, and then hit the power button on the machine. That's the only way to get it back up. So we know it's a hard lock of some kind. Now, most of you guys would say, yeah, Joe, you're probably overclocking the crap out of it, so that's probably what's going on. Well. I thought that myself and I changed the clock back to stock. So it's running at 3.0 gigahertz. Didn't help. So at, that, at this point I said, well, it's gotta be the motherboard, right? So I went into the motherboard settings. I made sure everything was once again in default settings, then called ASUS and said, listen, I'm having this problem. This is what's going on. They were nice enough to do a very lengthy testing uh, procedure with me. And after everything was said and done, they said, yeah, you just have a bad motherboard. Um, it is the Prime X370 uh, Pro is the ASUS motherboard that I have. And they said, yeah, it must be bad. So we're gonna send you out a new one. Okay, great. I got that motherboard, installed it, guys. Guess what? Still random reboots, still random reboots. I'm like, all right, so now 
what is going on with this, right? What can it be? Maybe I have a bad memory module, right guys? That could be, it's possible. I have two sticks, there are 16 gigs. I got 32 gigs altogether. Maybe one of those pieces of RAM are bad. So what I did was I went and downloaded Memtest 86. I made a little USB key like this, put that into the computer, boot onto that, and now ran Memtest 86 for, God, it had to be like two and a half hours straight, just pummeling this RAM. And when everything was said and done, guess what guys? Zero errors, nothing. The RAM was absolutely perfect. I'm like, oh my God. All right, so now we're still randomly booting. We got a new motherboard in there. The memory has been tested thoroughly. Um, what are we gonna take a look at next? Next. So I said, well, maybe it could be the power supply because if you have a power supply that's slightly going bad and you're having fluctuating power, you can get a lock. That is definitely a possibility. So it could be either a cable or the power supply. So I ran out to Best Buy and I got a brand new power supply. And guess what guys? Still random reboots. It didn't matter. So now what do we have? We have a motherboard that's new. We have memory that's been tested. We have the actual power supply itself that was new. All right, now what else could it be? So in my mind, I'm like, well, what else we got left? We got a GPU, right? So I called up Amazon, I said, listen, I got a GPU. It's a little bit past the time when it says that I can return it. Can I return it? It is having problems. So nice woman on the phone said, you know what? We're gonna return that um, GPU for you. Here's an RMA number. So I said, yes, right? <laughs> so I went on to Amazon to go look for another GPU. And guess what, guys? There is no more GPUs. There is like, I researched this and there's some kind of run on GPUs where the guys that are doing Bitcoin mining are buying all the GPUs, all the graphics cards out there and there's none for sale. And the ones that are out there are just crazy prices. This GPU that I have, that is a 1070, um, is I bought it for like $350. Now it's going for $550 to $600. Why is that? Because they can get it, you know, because there is none out there. So I'm like, oh my God, before I go and RMA out this GPU, let me do one more thing. I'm just going to format this hard drive from scratch and reinstall Windows. That's it. And then install my Adobe stuff and whatnot. Only the essentials, nothing else. So I did that. I grabbed my Windows key. I went and did a brand new install, formatted everything. And guess what? No more random reboots. God. Can you imagine that guys? After everything is said and done, just by reinstalling Windows, all of the random reboots stop. So what does this mean? What does this mean for, the, for, for all of us out here? Number one, what this means is, chances are that this Ryzen system, since it's so new, right? There are going to be just revisions like BIOS updates and driver updates and this type of thing that can possibly hose the system and not hose it in just a little bit of a way, but literally hose it whereas it cannot be used, okay? So, is this a problem? Yes. Does this make this not so much of a production machine? Well, yes and no, guys. Number one, we know that if we're in production, we have something that has to get done. I was just, matter of fact, editing a ad spot for a large company and I finished it um, after I ended up fixing this because during this problem, I wasn't able to do this edit properly. Even though it was a one minute ad spot, it took many days to edit. Um, but anyways, the bottom line here is you can't edit, you can't work with a machine that just randomly shuts off, you just can't. So what was the fix? What did I do? For me, it is creating full image backups of the actual boot drive. Not little um, incremental backups, but every time some major thing happens or every time I install an update or a driver or something, I just simply go into the Windows platform itself, the built-in create an image and image the actual boot drive. This way at any time I can stick in that Windows 10 key and within 10 or 15 minutes jump right back to where I left off. So right now I have an image where there's nothing on the machine itself, then I have an image where I have my Adobe stuff on there, then I have another image where I have the rest of my software that I need on there, but with no updates and everything is running up to that point. 
Now, the problem is guys, you can go out and buy a Cronus or another you know, paid backup, but the one that's in Windows 10 actually works really great. The problem with it is that it only allows you to save one full image backup per location, right? So per, let's say, external drive. Well, there is a workaround for that. And if you guys are interested in that, I'll get into it more detailed in another um, vlog that hopefully might help you guys out. If not, maybe you already have a backup solution. But the bottom line here, like I said, is you need to make full image backups of your computer, of your Ryzen setup on a regular basis. So this way, if something like this happens, you're not going and replacing all of this hardware. I literally replaced everything besides the GPU in this machine, right? And the memory, of course, but we tested it at nauseam, right? But being able to go back is going to be a godsend because at this point, and you can get back, it becomes now, once again, a production machine. You know within 10 or 15 minutes, you're back to a machine that is fully functional, that completely works. That once again makes it a production viable machine. We know that it edits really well. It's smooth, it does 4K. My exports are literally four times quicker with Ryzen, with the AMD setup than my Intel setup. So anyways, bottom line here is guys, build those backups. Very, very important if you end up going Ryzen. And it's actually a pretty good idea if you're on an Intel machine because you never know when there's going to be a driver that gets pushed through, maybe let's say your graphics card and it just hoses your system. It's always nice to just be able to go right back to a system that is currently functioning perfectly. So anyways, guys, that's it. Don't forget to get into that giveaway, like I said, for this Lens Baby um, Pro, the Composer Pro. Very cool. Like I said, go into giveaways under the playlist and you'll be able to see how to do that. If you like my content, as always, give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Share this video with a friend or family member or someone in the community that you know that this could possibly help them. Um, and also subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely great because that helps my numbers. It also helps my clout with um, YouTube and it kind of ranks me up a little bit higher and then my videos get out there to a greater number of people organically. And once again, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for photographers just like you. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. I hope some of this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.